This is Teresa Palkovic and I'm here to talk to you today about spinal stenosis. Many people suffer from spinal stenosis. As we age, the spine becomes um, less pliable, less movable, and we tend to um, fall into very poor posture habits. One of the things that occurs is that then the space between the vertebrae start to decrease. Many of you, I'm sure, have been told that you're not as tall as you used to be. Um, and that's one of the spines, uh, one of the signs that you're beginning to get some degeneration in your spine. Spinal stenosis actually um, has specific symptoms associated with it. Those symptoms are that if you stand up straight, you'll start to have back pain. Say you go to the grocery store and you're walking around and you start to have back pain and then you notice that that pain creeps down into your buttocks and then all of a sudden it's down into the back of your legs. It usually occurs in both legs more often than just one leg. However, it can just involve one leg. So if you find yourself in the grocery store walking and having pain and then you decide to lean onto your grocery cart and start to push your grocery cart with yourself bent slightly forward and that gives you relief of your pain, then it is possible that you have spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis likes bending forward. It doesn't like you to stand up straight or lean backwards. So today I'm going to show you a couple of exercises that you can do, simple exercises, and give you a little few tips that you can um, use to help decrease your back pain if you're having some spinal stenosis. The first thing that you can do, if you've been up walking around, say at the mall, even around your house, whatever it is that you might be doing, is to sit down, spread your knees slightly apart, put your hands between your legs, tuck your chin, and just gently lean forward. You don't have to go all the way to the ground, just lean forward as far as you can and hold that position for 30 seconds to a minute and then come back up and you can repeat that a few times. What that does is it relieves the pressure on the nerve and allows the, the uh, nerve to, re the tissues to relax around the nerve, gives you a little bit of a stretch and it'll help to decrease your pain. Another exercise that you can do for spinal stenosis is to lay on your back on a firm surface with your knees bent if you want to get a better idea of what you're doing, put your hand right here in the small of your back. In most cases, our backs do not actually lay flat against the surface when we lay down. What you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath in and as you blow that air out, you're going to flatten your back against your hand. And you're going to hold that for about three to five seconds and then you're going to breathe in again and you're going to blow that air out and push down. It's very important to do the breathing with this exercise because our diaphragm actually helps to stabilize our spine. So if you do the breathing along with the exercise, you're getting extra, the extra benefit of that stabilization. So it's take a breath in tummy rises, back arches just a little bit, and then blow that air out, flattening the back, tightening the abdomen. Hold that three to five seconds, breathe in again, and blow it out. Once you feel like you have good control of that, the next thing you can try is, same thing, take a deep breath in, and as you blow that air out, you can bring one knee into your chest. And then breathe in again as you lower the leg. Breathe out, flatten the back, and bring the other leg to your knee. Breathe in, blow out, bring the opposite leg in, flatten that back. Sometimes you might feel like you want to just hold it there. That helps to release the tension across the lower back. As you get better at this, then you might want to try and bring both knees to your chest. The caution here is, is that you lift one leg at a time. So you're going to breathe in, 
blow out. Bring one knee to your chest. Hold it there. Breathe in. Blow it out. Bring the other knee to your chest and hold that position. This position will give you some relief in your lower back. Now that we've talked about some exercises that you can do that might help with your spinal stenosis, I want to just give you a couple of tips that might help you to sleep better or, and to um, get rid of some of your pain when you're doing your daily chores. Most people with stenosis will complain of pain in their lower back when they're doing their dishes. That's one of the main complaints that we hear. So what I suggest to people is, is you open up your cabinet door and you place one foot inside the cabinet. And as you're standing there doing the dishes, you have that one leg up. What that does is, is it actually, remember we talked about extension bothers your lower back? It increases the, steno the stenotic pain. If you put one foot up, now you've flattened your back a little bit and taken the pressure off. So this is a good thing uh, to do if you're having pain when you're trying to do your dishes. If you're having pain, you've been doing your household chores and you're just exhausted and can't go anymore, another thing you can try, and you can use a ball or you can use some pillows stacked up, you could use a chair if you're able to get down on the floor, but you want to lay down and you get your feet up so that you're in as close to a 90-90 position as you can. In other words, your hip and knees are in line with one another and just rest in that position for 15 or 20 minutes. That can do wonders for just relieving your back pain. I hope those tips have been helpful and I hope that you will uh, continue to um, utilize our videos um, for more education on back pain and sciatica.